In this video, I will show you how to create a Binance account, enable the 2FA, solve any binding issues you may face in enabling the 2FA, how to transfer coins into Binance, buy and sell in Binance, and last but not least, how to set stop limit orders. To start, click on the link that I have touched on the description, which is below the video. It will bring you directly to Binance. Once there, we shall create a new account. To do so, click on the top right, where it says register. Once you click there, you will be prompted to insert your information. For Binance, you only need an email. Insert your email and password. If you want, please fill my referral ID and check the I agree to Binance terms of use. Once you have done all that, click register. You will be asked to complete, just scroll the piece of the puzzle to the missing position and you're done. You will see a brief success message and then you will need to do an email verification. To complete the registration process, look for an email in your inbox that provides further instructions. If you cannot find the email, please check your SPAC email. That's the information they given from Binance. So go to your email account and the email should be there. Open it and click verify email. Congratulations, your account is activated. Let's log in so we can start trading. Insert your email. Make sure you put the email the same way you entered it when you registered. If you use a capital letter or a lowercase letter that was not used in registration, you will not be able to log in. So complete the CAPTCHA by scrolling the missing puzzle piece and there you go, you're in. Binance will prompt you to enable the 2FA on your account and this is to their owner. Security is the number one priority in crypto, so let's set the 2FA up together. If you are not living in Japan, you have only one option, which is Google Authenticator. Click on it and let's start the process. Once you click in it, you will be taken to a new page and there you will see instructions. First, download the application from the App Store or Google Play. Unfortunately, if you do not use any of them, you will not be able to complete the 2FA authentication. After you download it, you will need to scan the code. I have heard that many users had issues in this part, so you can zoom in to your screen to make sure the device reads the barcode. Just hold control and roll up with your mouse. That's how you zoom in. Once you scan the QR code, make sure you take a picture of the code as well. Print a copy and write the 2FA backup key somewhere safe because if you lose access to your Google Authenticator, it is the only way to recover your password. So make sure you save all this info. They are vital to the security and access of your account. It was also reported to me that many users had binding errors. To solve this error, you need to sync the time in the Google application in your phone with the current time of your country. Just go to settings, options and sync time. Once you do that, you will not face that binding issue ever again. So as you do all that, enter your login password up top and then below the 2FA code from the application in your phone. The code changes every 30 seconds, so make sure you have the last password, otherwise it will not go through. There we go, that was a success. That means that your 2FA is enabled. Now we have a new account which is perfectly secure. Once you do that, you will be prompted to your dashboard. There you can see your email and next level one and verify. The best thing about Binance is that you can withdraw up to two Bitcoin value of coins per day with no information provided. For the majority of traders, this is more than enough. So how do we add funds to Binance? Well, it's pretty simple. Scroll over to the funds and click to deposit withdrawals. Then a list of all the coins they have listed on the exchange will be there. To transfer coins into Binance, just click on the deposit next to the coin you want transferred in and the deposit address will be given to you. Now you can use these addresses to send coins from Coinbase, Bittrex, Cryptopia or any other exchanges into Binance. It's simple. For example, I will transfer some Ripple into this account from my regular account. Keep in mind, if you transfer Ripple, you need an address and a deposit type. Once I complete all the info, an email confirmation was sent to me to verify the withdrawal. While we're waiting, we can check to see if this transaction was posted. To do that, click Funds History. The transaction is completed. If we go back to our profile, we can see the estimated value both in dollars and value in Bitcoin. So once you have transferred some Bitcoin or any other coin into Binance, then you can head to the market and start trading. You can buy, sell or put orders in it. Let's see how. Click Binance on the top left, that will bring us to the main page of Binance. Up top, you can see current offers running on Binance at the moment and below the markets available by Binance. You can select your favorite coins and put them in a column, which is very useful. For example, I will choose three to show you. Easy access to the coins you have holdings or trading, it's pretty useful. Currently, they offer four markets. A Binance market that you can trade with Binance coins, a Bitcoin market, an Ethereum market and a dollar market. Let's click on Ripple since we have some. Once you click to Ripple, this is the main view you will still see. Many will be like, where are the candlesticks? You may see it in mine, but it's not going to be on your screen. Well, just click on the hour and choose one hour or two or any other hour option. And there you will have your candlesticks. 
On mine, as I said, they were there because I clicked them earlier. On the left side, on top, we have the sell orders in place and below that, the buy orders. Also, we can see the last price, 24 hours change, high, low, and the 24 hours volume. Since I have some Ripple, I can trade them. So how do we do that? We have three options here, buy Ripple, sell Ripple, or set a stop limit order. Let's start by selling Ripple. I choose my price and I click at sell. Now you can wait to see if they will be sold, but you also have the option to cancel your order. If you scroll down and click cancel, same way with buying a coin. You just choose the amount and price you want to buy and you place your order. Now let's take a look on how the stop limit works. A stop limit order is an order to buy or sell a coin once the price reaches a specified price. For this one, I will just sell my Ripple. I choose the price that I want to sell Ripple for, which is 6243. If the last price drops to or below the 6243 Satoshi, an order to sell 30 Ripple will take an effect. That's what we just told Binance Exchange to do. But as you can see, the price dropped below before we even give the order. So we need to change the order back to 230. If prices goes below, it will auto sell. And as you can see, it was filled in seconds. Now let's buy back at 6,229. If the last price drops to or below 6,229 Satoshi, in order to buy 29 Ripple at the price of 6,229 Satoshi will take place. To be clear, I just used it as an example for the video. This was a terrible trade. But that's how the stop limit works, basically. It's, it's pretty simple. Now that you're familiar on how to create an account on Binance, enable your 2FA, transfer your coins there, buy, sell, and set up a stop loss on Binance, let's take a look what other functions Binance has. Now let's take a look on the advanced version. It comes from a dark background, so you have the feeling you're a professional. On the right side, you have the buy and sell options, while on the bottom right, you have the ability to buy and sell like the basic one has. Pretty much the same. On the advanced version though, you have some extra tools that can help you trade. Also, you have indicators, and they offer one of my favorite ones, the MACD. To activate the candlestick, just uh, choose the time you need up top and they will appear right away. Also, Binance offers an application for Google Play and you can download a PC client. To do so, click on the download for Windows and let's set it up to see how it works. Once done installing, put your login info and password and the captcha and enter your authentication code. And there we have the market. It comes from a dark background and we can see everything is in red today. Let's click on one coin to see how it looks. There you go, we have the volume. If we click on the timer up here, we can have the candlestick. And pretty much we have all the functions that CoinEasy will give you if you're familiar with it. Also, there's the option of multi-view so you can track many coins at the same time. For many day traders that use CoinEasy, Binance is a good alternative because it comes for free, actually. You just have to download the client and you can trade at the same time on Binance. Hopefully, this video helped you to create and secure your Binance account. If it did, please leave a like. And if you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to ask it in the comments. Thank you.